I love it. I love it. Yes, still in COVID. Thank you. I guess there's, what, six people clapping? And we are six feet apart, so that's good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gym City tonight. I am your host, Andrew Medikaitis. We have a great show for you tonight. Um, the fact that we're still able to do this in studio is lucky. You see a lot of late night hosts and other TV shows are still doing it remote or via Zoom. But these are trying and questioning times. Like, they have you know, a budget. This is, this is true. They have a budget. So, but we have questions, you know, when are we going to get a vaccine? You know, we'll be able to return to normal life, whatever that is. And will Rudolph Giuliani actually get hair dye that doesn't run down his face? <laughs> have you seen this photo? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, it happened a few weeks ago, but people are still debating on it. Yeah, here, this, this yeah. is the photo. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what in the hell was in his hair? Look at it. What, what's running down the side of his face? She what the? Polish. I, I could only, we even went to hair, professional hairstylists. Ah. Now these photographs are undoubtedly real, okay? I mean, they're all over the internet. Uh, but there's some debate actually what caused the shrieks on his the face. Sharpie, no. Uh, well, I don't, what? Putting dye, hair, Hershey syrup? Yeah, gross. While most social media people just like assume that it was hair dye, mm -hmm. they're like the people who actually do hair completely disagree. Yeah. Like somebody from the men's lounge in Manhattan actually said, Hair dye doesn't do that unless it's like immediately applied. Like he's in the chair giving the press conference. And they're like, oh God, you gotta talk. Get the heck out of the chair. Give me that bag. Yeah, I mean he'd make the same face. Yeah. Only he like the 1950s <laughs> thing where he's got the uh, yes, he's got the thing I totally. said. He didn't do it. We're counting the votes. <laughs> We're ca it's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> Is he, he's reading like Vanity Fair. Yeah, totally. Good housekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, told, I, I told you Millie was cheating. I knew it. I, I, that bit. Oh. Also, another guy, Marco Vergani, the public director for the drawing room, said the streaks were actually probably caused by mascara. The side burns are more gray than the rest of your head, so you can actually apply mascara yep. to touch up the gray, and it looks a bit more natural. You were telling me about this. Yeah. this people well, actually know, like, do this? People do it with when uh, women have roots or whatever. They have a whole line of products. It's temporary. There's a little wand, and they, they can like touch up their roots or whatever between colors. <laughs> yeah, totally that. <laughs> Let's point out for the fact that other than the it's dripping, you don't want your lawyer standing in front of a bunch of cameras sweating like Bear grills crossing oh the Sahara. Yeah, like an inkwell. Like immediately, he's like he's got the thing. Oh, um, um, no, I already don't believe anything you're gonna say. Uh, the uh, proof. The cousin, Earth, the Earth right around the sun. Okay. Don't can Donnie go for day spas? <laughs> oh, they do. Manny's and Petty's. Yeah. Like Donnie goes and gets the skincare treatment to look like the Tropicana mascot and, you know. It's an orange peel. Yeah, it's an orange <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, I had the pumpkin mask But last week. you can rim shot yourself. I know, didn't it? Yeah. So, what do you, what do you think, what do you, brand do you think he used this? Just for henchmen? Just for idiot. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. Just for henchmen. And then I, I actually kind of wondered what color he got, so we actually went to Just for Men. You can put in your skin tone, and they actually give you the results, which were no better than the election. Uh, the choices he got were cobalt, charcoal, and steal the election gray. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's kind of got a blue tint to it. It is. It is. But it's so far back, it's like, it's back, back here. Anyway, but yes, it's over and we, yeah, see, look at that thing. It's way wow, back there. It's man, got this little duck tail. Super unfortunate. It, it, he he looks him. like he's in the, uh, <laughs> the other, um, the other Bruno movie. Uh, anyway, but it is over. I was so. to say, that's why he has to start taking care of his hair. He's a movie star thanks to Borat. Yeah, Borat. Oh, that's right. what I, Borat. Yeah. I don't know why it's a, Borat. Borat. Anyway, but it's over and we have Joe and Kamala Poise to take the office and I'm actually glad to see not that they're technically in. I mean, it doesn't matter. I didn't, I can't tell you who I voted for, but whatever. But I'm just excited that there's a dog back in the White House. Totally. I voted for Biden. Anyway, two in fact. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Major and champ. 
So they're German shepherds. One was a rescue. There was a big thing awesome. that uh, made us a rescue. Um, Trump didn't have a dog. He was the first president in 120 years to not have a dog in the White House. Oh, but he did. Oh, but he did. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah. but yeah, he was like, I'm going to look stupid walking on the front house lawn. I was like, Donnie, we've seen you dance. You're going to look dumb doing anything. Oh, God. But he says we need to get back to the roots of America, which I totally agree with. But I'm going with the fact that we need to have presidents that have real animals like before. Yeah, we we'll see what you do with roots with Giuliani. See? How that ended up. Yeah. That's why we got <laughs> yeah. another guy. Yeah. So, for instance, uh, Teddy Roosevelt had a one-legged cock <laughs> uh, named Fighting Bob. Rutherford B. Hayes, Rutherford B. Hayes had a Siamese cat named Miss Pussy, which he wasn't in for long. Office, office that is, office. Nobody, nobody remembers Rutherford B. Hayes. I can, I can harp on him. And then uh, Nixon had Agnew, so it totally <laughs> makes sense. Uh, that Spiro. 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 Oh, he's taken on you, Scala. Yeah, he's speaking Greek. of he's Greek. He's a Greek. Yeah, we've got a couple of Greek references Greek. tonight. He's a Greek. Yeah, he's a Greek. Greek, Greek. Ted's back there, like, nodding his head. Yes, yeah. yes. Yasu. But moving away from politics into something completely less polarizing, the holiday season, of <laughs> course. Now that we have Thanksgiving behind us, <clears throat> and then moving into the Christmas season. I know, it's crazy, because since we hadn't, didn't have those big Thanksgiving dinners, did you have a big Thanksgiving? Absolutely not. Yeah, nobody did. No. Yeah, no, neither, neither no. my My mom was all worried about it, so she's worried that there was so much turkey left over, she's like, I gotta keep dressing this thing up and keep feeding it and feeding it. I was like, well, Dressing you, it up. Yeah, dress it up. All you gotta do is call it root poultry. Oh, sashay away. Yeah, and just, whew. You stay. His, that's his actual name, by the way. RuPaul? RuPaul. Yeah. It's something RuPaul something. Yeah. And he's like six foot five. Yeah, yeah, big, big dude. Good dude. Anyway, the holidays, just like Thanksgiving, will be different this year, just for everyone. And we actually have someone from the public health that's going to come on and talk about um, the safest practices this season so you and your loved ones can be safe. Hermetically but one thing, seal yourself. Hmm? Hermetically seal yourself. Hermetically seal yourself yeah. in a bubble, yeah. Ziploc bag. It's actually well, a, it's actually one of those wine things right. that you like save. The, I gotta stop doing this on camera. It's a, there's a there's a market for this big huge balls plastic balls for Christmas. You put yourself like the boy in the plastic bubble. You just, but they're colored. They're tinted like red and green. Your whole family can just be baubles on the lawn. I if we can find a tree big enough, mm -hmm. can we <gasps> ornaments? That would be hysterical. That'd be cool. Speaking of trees, did you see the horrible tree that went through Cincinnati? No. Their Christmas tree that they got? Yeah, Google that. If you're at home, Google really? that. Yeah. It was, it was patchy. It was bad. They found a cool owl. It was like owl. the back of a Russian mafia. Was it? They oh. found a cool owl in the one that went to 30 Rock. Uh, oh, yeah, true. But yeah, it was really cool. We digress. I know. But getting back to one of the things, remember, it is the holiday season. There's one thing that no matter pandemic or not, it's not going to let us down. Especially when you're cozed up, curled up, cozed up, curled up, cozy, next to a roaring fire on your laptop. <laughs> it's crappy Hallmark movies. Oh, That's right. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, we and if you don't know what I'm talking about, yes. you're one lucky SOB. But if you don't, I'm now going to sum up every Hallmark movie right now. Jay, a little music, please. Thank you. There's a woman. Let's call her Becky. She runs a small town business. Bakery, florist, restaurant. And since every Hallmark music, uh, Hallmark movie comes with a anti-capitalist message, a large company is going to come and threaten the town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe displace some old people. Shut the school down. Something. But something where the city needs to band together. Now, let's call her Jennifer, has to get everyone and rally around. Now, there's always two guys. One who's completely wrong for her. Yeah. Who we'll call Mark. Oh. That's what they're always called. Yeah, yeah, Mark. Rick or Steve. Never supports her. Mm -mm. Never does anything He's for her. He's a jerk. So, there's that. Yeah. But she holds on. Well, no? she stays with Mark. Okay, she stays, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't listen to her. No, Even no. though he's poured his, her heart and soul into this. Right, and yeah. she's done it for a couple of reasons. He either, slaps her. Either a dead parent, it's a childhood dream, oh. or she's doing it for her family. Sometimes yeah. all three if you get the right movie. She's making something right. Then the right guy, mm -hmm. always named Tyler, has been right there in front of her for the last 98 minutes. And then the last four minutes, because you got to save two for credit, uh, yeah. he shows up at Kelly's place of business after hours where they can somehow be alone. Or he somehow finds her wandering down the middle of the street, not drunk, 
in a completely deserted town, which for the 98% of the movie has been completely packed. That never happened. And they're randomly moving packages from one side of the street to the other. <laughs> yeah. During this last four minutes of the movie, he professes her love, kisses her in the eyes, and it starts to snow. <sighs> Credits fade to black. And then there's a dog in there somewhere. Yeah, I was gonna say, the dog barks in the background as they're about to kiss, and then they kiss, and the music swells up, and the dog- There's one of three the variables. There's a dog There's, yeah. a dog, there's a dog, there's a dog, there's the parent who's alive, but it's like, you're never gonna do it, Becky. Yeah. Like, your dad never wanted this for you. Yeah. And, then, and then there's the, uh, the friend who's the edgy friend. Yeah. The complete opposite. I just got an asymmetric bob, what do you think? Yeah, I got one nose ring and still wearing Doc yeah, Martens. Yeah. yeah, a little too much mascara. Who's but like, at the end does the elbow. Yeah, you yeah. could do it. Yeah, do it. There you go. Do it. Uh, so just go back to watching the goodies, Christmas Vacation, Charlie Brown, Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, yeah. And of course, Die Hard, which I don't care if you're watching, you can start this. Heck yeah. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yeah. So it is. do it. I don't, I don't think it's Christmas until I watch Hans Gruber fall off of Nakatomi Plaza. Oh, wow. So that's it. And finally, as we do come into the holiday season, we for many years find that there are those less fortunate of us. And in your communities all through, there are drop places where you might need to take your usual canned goods and other amenities. Like right here in Dayton, we have tubs for Carl's coats for kids. Not this year, it looks a little bit different than all they are collecting coats, but there are drives still going on. But always remember that always, there are other people that need a little bit more love. Hmm. And their charity isn't normal. Like the one we picked this year, the Long Hope Donkey Shelter in Colorado. Oh, oh. To which we, at Gem City Tonight, donated $10. And we learned in an email back to us that we fed an ass for a week. It's a great organization. The organization, it lays its website out pretty clearly in its mission statement. Unable to keep your ass? Want to make sure your ass is safe with people uh, who know and love asses. That's right, cover your Long ass. Hope accepts donkeys who care, who can no longer, people from, can no longer care for their asses. The organization based in Colorado rescues donkeys from slaughter and neglect and trains them and offers the care and adopting loving families oh. only. Donkeys really looking are sweet. Out. They are. They are sweet. So this holiday season, you feed them. when you're thinking of other people, helping and providing for others, be sure to take this holiday season and take a moment to save your own ass. Oh, that's dumb. You're welcome. We got a great show for you. Stick around. Absolutely. They have a zoom. I don't know why. They have a zoom. Scoot me over here. Yeah, I don't like that side of my head. Do you have a good side? I don't have a good Are side. Do you have a good side? Close up. Maybe my close. There we go. All right, our desk piece, real quick. Thanksgiving did suck. I hope the holidays are better. Yeah. Well, I'm thankful to be alive and have friends and. A job. I have to film it afterwards to so stop. Yeah. So, all right, my favorite desk piece. I actually researched a lot of this. This yeah. is interesting. We're going to do uh, top five best and worst gifts for men ah. and women. Yay. Okay. Have you done your shopping? No. Well, you saw them, yeah, thanks to uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, Bezos. Jeffy. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, man. That man needs a day job. Yeah. Yeah. Have... Applying sunscreen in San Tropez. That's yeah. a day job. He owns all of the islands. Yeah, I know. Right? Hi, can I have... Um... Can I have all your items, please? I'm buying a country. Yes, I'm buying a country. Do you have a reservation? I own this place. I, oh, I, I okay. own, yeah, Bruce Wayne. Oh, buy the hotel. <laughs> yes, exactly. So we did uh, top five best gifts for men. <clears throat> all right. All right, ready? Yep. Number five, a Garmin mini dash cam. Okay. I sure. Guess. Put yeah. on your, yeah. They have a lot of them in Russia. That's how you get to see all those ladas crashing into each other. True. Yep. Uh, membership into a beer club. That's, that's an old one. Yeah, 10 years called. Yeah. They want the... Uh, a tile mate? I think it's the thing. Is it the thing you put on your keys? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, you don't lose stuff. Yeah, tile mate. Uh -huh. um, this one intrigued me. This is number two. Uh, a Bartesian. Pretty sure they invented that word. Bartesian premium cocktail mate. Uh, huh. And I had, I had wanted to put the... the explanation of it here. It sounds Named like one of unique. Oprah's favorite things in 2019, so that's just a gold mine. Well, yes. Well, they sold out. This cocktail machine is the perfect way to get any party started! Exclamation point, by the way. <laughs> I know a lot of ways. This machine uses capsules like a Keurig or an espresso, 
with various flavors created by mixologists, choosing from margaritas, old-fashioned whiskey sours, and martinis. Oh, come on. Yeah, if you look at it, there's, like, you can put the booze over here, yeah. and then, like, whatever mixer you need, and then you can put, like, like I guess the sugars and whatnot, so you just... Your, whoosh, your bitters. And then put your thing underneath, and it just makes it... I mean, I get it, but really? It's like $500, It's like the too. popcorn just popper. Just shake the hair Get thing. a damn pan and make your popcorn. You it's like, a... I love bartenders. We got a place in town uh, here in Dayton. A couple different places where they're not bartenders. They're mixologists. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they're... Yes, yeah. and... And and, t- and uh, no, what's a douchey name? Connor is gonna make you a a an old fashioned, but he's gonna smoke the wood. First off, he's wearing that leather apron that you wear to forge yeah. steel I'm for no cold. reason. <laughs> and he's gonna, he's gonna make this. He's gonna steam it. Then he's gonna like the ice cubes are in the shape of like the building that was. And he's just gonna blow there, across. And it's a, gonna take a minty sixteen minutes. And it's gonna come in this glass. And you're just going to go, clang, make me another one. Absolutely. And he says, and your bill is $685. Well, I only had five drinks. Well, yeah, I did know. you it's see like, what I did with that mint? It's like drinking in Manhattan. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut up, Kevin, and make me a vodka soda. Mm-hmm. Killing me. And then the number one gift, I guess, whoever made this list, and this is from bestproducts.com, has not been outside. Golf clubs. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Or just Be- a, nice, a real nice driver or a good putter. Yeah. Best gifts for women. I got uh, two ladies in the crowd. Uh, Dutch oven, <laughs> number five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dutch oven. I think we all know what a Dutch <laughs> oven is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to put that into the universe and let hey, it marinate. Hey, no question about that. Well, that's nice. The last time I gave my wife one, I got slapped. You were kicked out. <laughs> Dutch out. oven. Give me some Febreze. Uh, number four, weighted blanket. Oh, that's great. That's cool. that's cool. I heard those are hot this season. Uh, sure. Personalized anything with Roman numerals. Oh my gosh. I. Um, with Roman numerals. Oh, uh, right. yeah, a I long distance touch lamp. Have you seen these? So. How long? Let is me your explain. Finger? I left the Dutch oven alone. Let me explain this one. Yeah. And so the long distance touch finger? lamp. So you, if you're. You're in a long distance, obviously, relationship, or like it's across town or whatever. What, I don't really know. Whatever. Um, you have one, and the other person has one, and it's connected through Wi Fi. So anytime you touch your lamp, the other lamp turns on. Uh-huh. So that way they know you're thinking about each other. Also, it can scare the crap out of oh. you if you're in different time zones. Yeah. If you're on the West Coast and they're on the East Coast and you're asleep, yeah, and one of you super funny and decides to, like, Scrooge send a, and Marley, send a wake message. your ass up. Oh, she had a, a seizure. The light was turning on and off. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Uh, worst did. gift for guys. You ready for this? Worst, yes. Uh, number Golf five, clubs. anything as seen on TV. What? Yeah. That's hysterical. I like that stuff. Some of it's pretty interesting. <laughs> number four, jewelry. Yeah, right. They didn't, they didn't ask me. I pick list. out my own gems. Well, they said men. This... Yeah. This is me. Yeah, this is me. This is true. Oh, this wait. is true. Oh. Oh. Uh, bath products, number three. Oh, unless it's THC bath bombs. Or CBD THC bath bombs. <laughs> I'd be afraid to I'd, I'd be afraid to Jim Morrison myself. No. Didn't, that's Took a reference no one's getting. That pulls you out of the tub yeah, after. How do you smoke a bath bomb? This is true. Uh, number it's two, anything that removes hair. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, R. Me no get rid of her. Yeah, mmm, cross my fire. No, 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 yes. Mmm, fork. You make dinner. <laughs> oh, trust me, wait for the worst for women. Uh-oh. And number one, yeah. what worst thing to get a guy? Art. Art? Art, like you hang on a wall. <laughs> well, unless art or, is kind of a guy and he's always going to something. Oh, yeah, get art. Something. No. Well, you know what you call a guy with no arms or legs hanging on a wall? Art. Art. No arms or legs above a window? Rod. Valance. No arms, no, no arms, no legs in front of a door? Matt. No, no, no arm, no arms, no legs in a hole. Doug. Doug, yeah. Yeah, I get. There's like. What do you say to him when he falls in a hole? Well. Oh God. I just, I, that one just. I mean. So all right, and worst ones to wrap this up for women, yeah. a self-cleaning water bottle. Oh yeah. I don't know. I don't okay. A, what is that? I do. I don't know. Uh, doesn't beat the. <laughs> Link is the name of the company, an AKC GPS dog collar. Oh, that's all right. Well, oh, well, yeah. 
Yeah, well, would you put it on her or the dog? Her for her. Yeah, right. Exactly. It didn't it comes specify. with a shock collar attachment in case she gets lippy. I'm going to be able to find you. Yeah, you, well, they, he well, can't go the nowhere. Well, there's the other one, so you can find him. <laughs> she, can't, yeah, she can't go past the, past the, the driveway. Otherwise I told shot. you, you're geofenced. <laughs> um, anything with a cord. Oh, now, see, that's not true. I'm calling... You know what on that. Vibrators take batteries. It's fine. Not the good ones that you want to last. <laughs> the heavy duty ones. That you ordered. Charger, yeah, you gotta, you gotta oh, charge it. Oh, yeah. it okay? Don't um, take that in the bathtub now. Uh, DVDs or CDs? Yeah, totally. What year? They, this is this, is this oh, year for this list. Did, well, and then the number one worst thing you can get a woman, according to bestproducts.com. Vacuum cleaner. Pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Finish this sentence. Better late than pregnant. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Unfertilized. Oh, gross. Yeah, totally. Okay, so. Uh, worst thing you can get her? A pen. A pen? That's what it says. Okay. A pen. One of my favorite gifts ever for Christmas was a pen. It was a Mine Mont, was Mont Blanc, Blanc pen, but it was, it was a pen. actually. My mom got me a, a, it's a recreation of a painting that my parents had in their house for years, and they just shrunk it down they had it read like it's not that artist that used to do people you. like in watercolor all weird didn't you have one of those at your house paul melia yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Paul, yeah he did everybody friends of ours had those yeah, he's that, everywhere that, but the arms those. are always like this he gave me spock ears when i was I 10 i never did. forgave the guy all right i think he was a little woo. god rest his soul he hell liked color all right we'll be right back with more gym city tonight yeah <laughs> It wasn't always like this. My friends were slowly going away. They found other people. And the world was slowly revolving around me. With my classes becoming harder and harder, and the constant stress of applying to college, it seemed like suicide was the answer to all of this. It was so easy to do, right there, right there and then. I could have done it, but someone reached out to me. This person actually cared for me, talked to me, and understood me. Suicide is never the answer. Know the signs, find the words, and reach out. Welcome to a Gym City Tonight, Woo not the live radio show, just trying to throw you off. Uh, I have no idea where to look. I'm not used to this. So That's I'm just okay. Look you can at talk to me. Player. You can talk to me, and if you see a although, red, look although at I, a red light. I, I, have, I have to be honest, uh, I miss the original piano player. I mean, less beard, but bigger boobs. Well, but, <laughs> I'm working on work, that yeah, this work, year. Work yeah, on that. Work. We, all, we all are with COVID. I have gained like 90 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. During the the whole COVID crisis, everybody's going for that COVID fifteen. I'm an overachiever, yeah. but I'm going to shut up now because we have. Why am I here, you? Ask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I am not Andrew. Right now, and not. I, I from the beginning of Gem City tonight, I think the biggest question that uh, guests, viewers, and uh, if there are any uh, audience members and uh, crew have been wondering is why Andrew Mitakitis. So uh, yeah. Let's find out. Yeah, Andrew Mitakitis, <laughs> come on over here. <laughs> that what it's like back there? It's, it stinks. It does. It smells like cat. It's like no room. I've never actually been back there. This well, is, hey, man, thank me for having you. I thank you for having me. This is, thank you for doing this. So, wow. why, why the sudden change? Why the sudden, uh, you know, I, I, I just want to be fair right off the bat anytime somebody says, hey, we had a cancellation, and then tells you you're their first choice. It's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> it was actually true. Yeah, well, we'd been going things, and of course, obviously, with COVID, um, we had uh, uh, booked a, a couple of people. They had tested positive. They had backed out. We totally understand. Um, health first. 
And wow, that is really close to my face. How you doing? <laughs> I've never been a guest. I don't. I didn't know. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's frightening. It's ooh, frightening. Well, you're killing me. Uh, so we were talking and spitballing, and uh, one of our executive producers brought up the fact that we never interviewed me. Right. And I'm like, who yeah. the hell? I mean, I wax poetically enough. Why would we want to interview me? And so we came up with this idea, and we were sit we were sitting around. And you've been gracious enough to be on the show twice, and you're obviously the the uh, Wiley's is in the opening credits. You've been a huge supporter from the get go, so we figured we'd, you know, give you the tomahawk to uh, slay the dragon. Why? Uh, well, who uses a tomahawk to slay a dragon? I mean, because it isn't going to go yeah, well. That's, that's why. Yeah, I, I was going to say. I yeah. was going to say. You've never seen me use a tomahawk, though. Too sure. But, <laughs> but sure. Any, anyway, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you do a lot of things outside of the show. A lot of things, like for example, uh, example, example. For example, Shit, I make words. See, like see, yeah, I, I, I've had no I time one. to prepare one. for this. You know, when somebody, somebody calls you and says, hey, you want to interview me? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you have anything you want to talk about specifically? No, nope, just make something up. All just right, perfect, perfect. We're, we're here. But no, an auction, you're an, you have an auctioneer's license mm -hmm. for starters. You, just tell me about some of the, uh, some of, just because we don't have all day. <laughs> So tell me about some of the things you have going on outside of Gym City tonight. Um, well, uh, obviously the biggest thing for me is, you know, I was born and raised here. That's why I did the show. Um, uh, God, I don't even know. I do a lot of suicide awareness. Right. I've um, been working with uh, AFSP for 11, 12 years now. Um, so that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I was a firefighter for about six and a half seconds. Uh, auctioneer. Um, the hair gel didn't go well with the fire. just burst into flames. <laughs> but it's true. Jay's laughing because he knows. Fire retardant hair. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, like, I went to college, double major in theater music, and then uh, performed in York, all over, a couple of national tours, a bunch of movies that no one should ever see. I don't think I ever have. Myself, yeah. Pay the bills. Um, theater. Voiceover, I don't. Oh God, I'm missing. All about, all about town. It's sort of a gad about, if you will. Yeah, well, I do. Good dude. Uh, good dude. Um, yeah, I just. Lifesaver, Ghostbuster. Ghostbuster, yeah. yes. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, I think we did that for the last, not this past Halloween, but the one before. Um, I do comic cons and stuff like that. Yeah, so. I know you. I know you're into the Ghostbusters thing. So this is true. So yeah, I just. Kind of an all Are you around. a fan of paranormal activity in general? Is is that is that why or just a movie? Just, just, just the, the movie. movie. People just ask the me movie. if the okay. stuff I walk around with is real, and I'm like, Would you? Well, no, I what don't. The hell? No. You know, I, I just I just wonder is it, if you have an interest in paranormal as well as just the Ghostbusters. That's movie, a legit question. Does it stop with the? Movie? Well, my well, my my grandparents are from the south, so no no good respecting southern home isn't without its own ghost. <laughs> Grandpappy. <laughs> yeah. That's People. true. That's true. Yeah. So, but I mean. And then um, kind of starting a venture and kind of keeping it hush hush, but I've had a. Well, we won't talk about it. It's it's well, it's something that I've kind of had on the on the books for years, and finally got the push to take it, kind of take the brand and what I've been doing. So yeah, so it's all over the place. I'll all sleep when I'm dead. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, <laughs> not your death, but you know. <laughs> to sleep, what dreams may come. So. So, so, so not big into paranormal because I've been on the Life Radio show. I've been interviewing a lot of psychic mediums lately. So I saw that, yeah. and then you've got your own little. You have your other thing going. I have several other things going. Yeah, there are many, many other things. But we're here to talk about your other things. Damn it! I tried to deflect. Yeah, that's it. I really did. Good job. Good job. Not really. Not. Nah, it's you know, horrible. It's worth a try because you know I'll talk about myself for hours. This is true. <laughs> this is why I wanted you to do it. So, but we are here for you. So why why an auctioneer's license? Does it just? Um, it's just I've always been doing emceeing and live auctions, and my mom was the grand dame of balls. So if you needed to put on something for, you know, the Alzheimer's Association or the Dayton Philharmonic or whatever, and it's a reason to get dressed up, put a tux on. Now, do you do the fast talking auctioneer? I do, I do. I um, we have to have a sample of that, especially I, especially. Uh, tell me something more about your your mom's grand damn balls. <laughs> Gr Dom, Dom. Right. Oh, Dom. sorry, sorry. Yes. Um, so but yeah, she always needed like a host or an MC, and I was, you know, I came on uh, the running joke is I came out of the womb with a microphone going, "How you doing, Doc? Good to see you. Good to see you. Try to be out. Oh, nurse, fantastic work. All right, how are we doing? 
Oh, it is stuffy in there. I just got evicted from my first apartment. Hey, oh, and like yeah. I so. So like a really bad fifties comic. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah try like, your waitress. like a lounge act. Try your waitress. Out, tip the deal. You, 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 it's like you were born in Las Vegas Vegas lounge. That's yeah, what, yeah. That came out with a headdress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that poor woman. No. Yeah, it's. Yeah. The, how did that affect her grand dom? Gives gives the gives the golden nugget a whole new term. <laughs> So is there, is there anything else we need to know about Andrew? I, I mean, Jay's, you just see, you just don't even know. I, I don't even know right, what. We'll, we'll, Jay's we'll, we'll, we will we'll talk to your pianist for a little while. <laughs> Be careful how you say that. <laughs> see, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't no, have anything. No, I do. To I know also. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm tell prepared. me some tidbits about him that he's embarrassed to talk about. Oh, uh, you know, um, well, he's a showman, right? But um, and, pe yeah. and people, and pe when you get to know him, he's genuinely a, a really awesome person. You know, like people, yeah. people who don't, you know, they see people out there that are like putting themselves out there and being goofy and being unafraid to be themselves. And, um, oh, yeah. and then think, you know, they're like, oh, I don't, once you meet him, you're like, uh, I met him. The best story, our story was on another one. I was playing the piano at Von Mar and he came down the escalator with one of his buddies and he was like live, like it was the Andrew show. And I was playing the piano. Well, you were playing me. Well, you were playing right, exactly. me. Exactly. Well, right. it, was my, it was my show. But then he comes popping in and is like, you know, huh? And I, it was so fun. We, it was like the Moulin Rouge. It was so great. It was on. like, oh my God, we didn't know we were in a play, but here's here's the actor. And then we just laughed and laughed, and we were buddies from that moment on. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. has a lot of good things to say about you. I, I take it he works for you here at the show. So I, so. I guess I yeah. pay him. In. I paid him compliments. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Yeah. That's the, well, it's about the same. That That's exactly right. So slurs and epithets only go exactly so far. Exactly right. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely get, you know... When I first met you, I thought you were a douchebag. And then the people are like, I get to know you, and they're like, not bad. No, that's what Which I'm saying. Which is funny, because yeah, I, I thought the total same thing, bag. and they still do. And that's so. common. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, like, yeah, get, so, over, yeah. get over yourself, but then you meet him, and you're like, oh, yes, no, you it's should be hair. more of yourself. It's the hair or the bracelets. Yeah, it's, it's oh, the it's hair. the bracelets it's, for it's, me, man. I thought if you got that thing the caught in the escalator, you were gone. Oh, yeah. Your arm was gone. He could have caught fish. If he was out in the wilderness, he could have just tied all his bracelets together and... It's my survival. Well, kit. I was gonna yeah. say maybe that's all about. It's, he's all about survival, like that. He just, <laughs> it's like yeah, he's like, just doing it in style. Yeah. Uh, well, totally. Yeah. So he doesn't yeah. have to. He doesn't have to carry With his uh, his tomahawk well. around to slay the dragon. I don't. Can, I don't even like my hair so hard. I, I just, <laughs> just butt the ram, and I. That's meat. <laughs> that's, right. that's meat. Right. Does it move at all? Is it just? Uh, no. It's like, it's like a Nazi trying to dance. <laughs> Oh, just don't don't move. talk about dancing. We can't do that right now. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry, oh, you, right. Mikey. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Dewine. We Dewine's will, uh, always watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it Mikey? Knows? Mikey, is that who you? Knows? Who knows? We should probably be six feet away, or, or have we, a. We should have a plexiglass we, well, right. Yeah. There. I mean, I've got a like it's like pig pen. I got enough around here that I'm, I'm good. Well, that's true. That's true. You just keep people at bay just with all that. You know, yeah. See, that's the same reason I have this. I'm, I'm waiting to get it out to six feet. That way I can just spike it and nobody yes, comes around yes. me. I pay money. Yes. Good money. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is it gets to a certain point, just gets caught in my zipper, and then i got to trim it down mm. a little bit. You know. The beard. Right. Yeah. Got it. Just checking. Yes. Right. They do. <laughs> you always, always got to check. You always true. Check. So... <laughs> So, uh, this is about the, how I thought it was going to go. Exactly. Ex this is the train wreck I expected. Yeah, I, you know, I did have a little bit of time to premiere. I, I, I do have some news oh, stories. Oh, please, so, please. So, Some life radio show news Which stories, I've been on. I, I love the you, cross-promotion plug. Yeah, you've been on the life radio show. I'm actually also doing the news buffet on another on another show called Breaking the Fourth Wall. Okay. Which is based on the stupid Which news Which we do a I lot do. on this show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where's exactly. the I don't know what the camera's on. Especially it's the one with the... Uh, it just moved. It just moved. It was the one with the light on was over here. That's See, not, I can't. That's not really I'm breaking. Not, I'm behind the desk. I can't that's, get up. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they keep you back here. That's there's actually you don't hit the sense, chain. But perfect yeah. Perfect sense. Uh, but I already got my foot chained to the desk here. But but no, I, I do news stories on the Life Radio Show as well as I do the news buffet on Breaking the Fourth Wall. Let's and throw every, a couple out. And here. every now and then you you can hear me on uh, WWSU's morning show doing the Freaky Friday news segment. So I'm you are so, you're like me. Somehow somehow I got stuck with news. So I figured if I'm going to come on here and do this. We're going to have to do some news stories. Let's so. do it. We got we got a few minutes. All right, all right. The organizers of America's best restroom contest have flushed out a winner for 2020. Uh, Centos Corporation named the public restroom in Bancroft Park in Colorado Springs, Colorado, as America's best bathroom for the 19th annual contest. 
The high-tech restroom self-cleans after 30 uses, featuring a touchless automatic toilet paper, soap, and water dispenser, and hand dryers. Yes. An app alerts the park maintenance supervisor whenever supply supplies are running low. Uh, we're very proud to win this award since opening the new restrooms just a few short months ago, said Karen Paulus, the director of Colorado Springs Parks Recreation and Cultural Services. Uh, the amount of recognition we've received is a okay. testament to the value people place in hygienic and memorable public restrooms. <laughs> Memorable, <laughs> memorable yeah. public rest. Which Not involving a politician. This was a poop to remember. Exactly, because if you're if you're going to use a public restroom in order to win the competition, it has to be very memorable. Memories in the corner memories. of the bathroom. I I have there have been a lot of public restroom memories. I have tried to just block out the memory. Those of are called roofies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh. If you're healthy, they happen a couple times a day. So How does exactly. all lots what is of self cleaning? Self cl yeah. self cleans every thirty uses, uh -huh. which to me that's that's t that's a little much because that just means you're you're. How it, does it If you're number thirty, it's huh? How does it self clean? Have you not been in one of those like over in Europe? The Maybe door it's closes. A, like an, it's like psh, I don't know whether yeah. this one does it, but it it, psh, it sprays itself down. Could be like a self cleaning that's an, that's oven. That's an inner <laughs> room on a cruise. The whole, like a, where the whole room turns into a shower. Right. That's that's what's, all what's that it, is. If I you're on a cruise and the whole room that. turns into a shower, you're sinking. But it, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's true. That's a well, frightening. I, mean, thing. I don't want to be on a tub. cruise and all of a sudden there's water coming from every. Do you have a porthole? No. Why is your room wet? Exactly. How dare you? Exactly. Exactly. We'll go on more tasteful news. The saying "You are what you eat" may soon become a lot more literal. Uh, the D a DIY meal kit for growing steaks made from <laughs> made from human cells was no no. I have a cannibal lecture on my desk. Negatory. I didn't know we were going. Uh, here, was was recently nominated for Design of the Year by the London by the London based Design Museum. Nope. Named the Ouroboros steak after the uh, circular symbol of a snake eating itself tail first, the hypothetical, it's only hypothetical still, the hypothetical kit would come with everything one needs to grow their own cells uh, for miniature human meat steaks. <laughs> wow, this is, this is a really good party. What are you eating there, Doug? <laughs> me. A little bit of me. <laughs> me. Here, eat Ooh, me. Oh, look, he's better with tzatziki sauce. <laughs> Yeah, well, Ooh, definitely. Great party. Greek. Thanks, Dennis. He's uh, Greek. Well, yeah, if, if you're Greek, you got to yeah, try absolutely. the tzatziki sauce. I'd be with potatoes as <laughs> Asian. <an Irish. laughs> oh, look, Lynn's here. She brought the He's Asian Irish. thing. Right. She brought her stuff. Potatoes. Right. Uh, here's a, a website for the imagined uh, product states, growing yourself ensures that you and your loved ones always know the origin of your food, how it's been raised, and that its cells were acquired ethically and consensually. Monday night. Is that Bob I've night? I've got That's their tagline. I've got their tagline. Eat me. And, but exactly. Oh, That's, good God. That goes without saying. Yeah. Eat me. <laughs> Want to grow yourself. So what do you call better? a car then? A to-go box? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm never gonna trust an Uber again. <laughs> no. uh, that's that's Uber and DoorDash that's... together for you. All right, now. throw one more out and oh, good God. <laughs> we'll get on All the right, now. one more. All right, well I I have two, so we'll see which one is is a little bit better. Uh, sorry, when I first looked at this one, there's a quote that just says, "Play with it, rub its belly, and take pictures." <laughs> we won't do that one. We won't we'll do that let one. That one marinate. <laughs> no, those are the people. <laughs> right. Because of the last one. Does we'll that make a hot tub a pressure cooker? Yeah. Yeah, is that what that is? Mm. Yeah. Like a sauna is a pressure cooker for people? Yeah, pretty much. That, there you go. There it's you a, go. It's a, what are these called? Uh, fast pots, quick pots? Oh, uh, pots. Instapot. It's human Instapot. Fondue. Instapot. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 that's, a, that's the uh, when you cremate someone. Swimming right. in a pool is people <laughs> that's soup. That's an Instapot. Right. Getting Denise in a hot like, tub oh, is God. people stew. Well, being in the pool could also be pea soup. All right. Oh. One more. <laughs> Good guy. Uh, a Russian oligarch reportedly nicknamed the Sausage King uh, was That's killed, Roman. <laughs> was yeah, killed with Roman. a crossbow in his sauna after masked robbers broke into his home, investigators said Monday. Uh, the man and his wife were in their banya, traditional Russian sauna, uh, out, outside Moscow when several masked men entered uh, tied them up and demanded they give up the money they kept in their home. I made a uh, question right now. <laughs> I made a question. Yeah, the <laughs> wife, the wife managed to get free and alert the police, who discovered the man's body. The committee said Olga. in a statement. Uh, while Olga. inspecting the scene, uh, investigators seized the crossbow the man was shot with. 
the robbers escaped in the victim's car, which was found near Istra, a town west of Moscow. This was, I smell a setup on this. That's this why is, you don't keep weapons in the I house. smell a Jason Statham movie. Oh, yeah. See, the, 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 wife, the wife got free fairly easily. Yeah, that was they my question. How did she, yeah. It seems they like there'd be one way in and out of that sauna. They to shoot him with a crossbow. Mm -hmm. And she made. She was in on it. I take a lot of things into the sauna with me. Water, yeah, towel, we so. crossbow. We are crossbow. going to be in the sauna. Come in with your crossbow. He keeps it by the bed. Right, which is... Uh, how, how you say, shoot the meat. <laughs> in Russia... Right, in Russia, you Bo shoot. shoots you. <laughs> well, being in the sauna was also easier for him to steam all of his rice and vegetables while he was... Oh, and himself, was, because the last yeah, one he's going to be the... Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, he's going to be the appetizer. All right, take, get, take this interview win. <laughs> yeah, wow. Totally right. Super take us to commercial, south. Don. It's yours. South. Hey, let's go to commercial then. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Andrew Mitakaitis, for being a guest on your own show. Thank you. This is what it's like <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're going to change your ways now. I, we might just do one chair, like, between two ferns. <laughs> On August 11th, my brother Max wrote these words and hanged himself. He was only 15 and he had his whole life ahead of him, but he was tormented and bullied until hopeless and alone he took his own life. Though Max's pain is gone, the pain of his family will last a lifetime. Don't let this tragedy repeat itself. If you or someone you know is speaking or thinking about suicide, talk to an adult. What wouldn't you do to stop it? Welcome back to This Is Your Pottery Wheel. I'm your host, Andrew Medicitis. This week on Gym Study Tonight, I'm just kidding. I was going to do this old house, but I was like, no, that's more interesting. <laughs> so, yes, Gym Study Tonight, I actually get a chance to work with Sarah and Tabitha mm -hmm. from Made Ceramic Art Studio. And I have to do something I've never done before, which is do my favorite scene from Ghost. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Six feet apart, we can't do it. Um, but we're actually going to make... We're do ceramics. I'm gonna stop talking because this is literally the first time in my life I've ever done it. So Yay. this should be good. Take it away, ladies. What All right. You? Well, I'm gonna hand it over to Sarah because we're both instructors here, and she's gonna show you how to throw your pot. Yeah, this Keep is going. my favorite part about ceramics is teaching people, especially their first time. All right. So we're gonna start with. I thought you were gonna throw it at me. <laughs> I was like, oh god. <laughs> okay. All right. Our chunk of clay. Okay. Just <laughs> first, we just <laughs> be one with the clay. Just start to feel with that. Yeah. Can we get yoga? <laughs> be one with your mat. Okay. It's very much yeah. zen. Okay. Yeah. So my Greek ancestors keep it. are like, good, good. Don't do what it. you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pound it into a ball. What are we making? We're gonna start by shooting for a cup. Why do I have an odd feeling? You're like, if and it, then it <laughs> turns into a bowl, but okay. it's fine if it okay. turns into a plate. Okay. It's, it's all about the experience. It's yeah, all sure. about the experience. This is going to end up being yeah. an ashtray. Like anything else, it takes practice. <laughs> okay. But before we get started, I want to go over a few of the things in front of us, including okay. this large yellow machine. Got it. All right. This is called a wheel, and you have a pedal right by your right foot there. Okay. And I just want you to see what that feels like to... <laughs> okay. Think I'd have oh, a stick my in wheel is not on. Are we getting? Hey, there we go. All right. So you can see, just like your grandmother's sewing machine, the more you push, the faster it goes. Gotcha. All right. Or an accelerator. <laughs> just, kidding, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. But this is going to be our primary tool for today. So Am let's I doing just. Bad? We're just going to go ahead and get started. The okay. Force of habit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, but you're wetting your, your I'm wetting, wetting I'm wet, wetting my wheel. Okay. It's not entirely necessary, but yep. So you got your, your sponge and your bucket of water there. Okay. Squeeze it. Water is our friend at the beginning of, of this process. So yep, just go ahead and wet it. And now for the first and probably most fun part, oh we're gonna All take right. our ball of clay. I, I keep going to the other side <laughs> of the wheel and I'm forgetting it's coming back around yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. With our wheel stopped, we're going to take the ball of clay and shoot for the center. It's got a nice bullseye, just like a dartboard. 
And I'm going to take my chunk and go, it's going to be loud. That was really loud. <laughs> that was that was deafening. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Can I just hold Yeah. It? Pick it right in the middle. Just try to <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> that splattered. <laughs> All right, so now that uh, okay. <laughs> now that our clay is on our wheel, I'm gonna wet my chunk of clay again. Okay. Take both of my hands mm -hmm. and kind of just start. <laughs> to push my clay onto the wheel to make sure it's suctioned on. Yep. You can go pretty fast. And this feels awkward <laughs> as hell. There you go. How does one get started in this? Doing exactly what you're doing. <laughs> like we teach classes called Spin It, which are um, one night workshops where people can come in for an hour and a half and we'll instruct you the whole way. And you get like two chances to make a piece. And that kind of gives you the experience and figure out like if it's something that you like to do. Because it's much like music and sports, like you really got to practice. So it does take a lot of time for a potter to get to where they are. Yeah. How did you get involved? How did you get involved? <laughs> well, me personally, I was always into <laughs> art growing up. And then I took um, courses over at Sinclair when about 20 years ago and opened up a studio about nine years ago, and now we've got Made open, and. How do you have a tunnel, and I've got a, <laughs> I've got a <laughs> lava cake. Really good. What the hell? Okay. As, as she's ta talking about her story, just start to push. Each. I'm pushing, damn it. <laughs> and this step is called coning up. Yeah. <laughs> Making a big old cone, like a there unicorn horn. There you go. And then Sarah here, she went to University of Dayton. She's an engineer, and she took ceramics classes there, and she started teaching with us about a year ago. <laughs> what, what, engineering? Ceramics. ceramics. <laughs> There's a lot of science and art mm -hmm. in everything we do. I can, I can imagine, because, I mean, there's, I'm applying a decent amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. That looks great. Yeah, so far. keep going. Kind of raise your hands taller. up as you're pushing it, too. Just kind of make it into a taller thing. There you go. Well, it's been a great that, segment. That, Thanks, guys. It's I'm, a base. I'm, I made an egg face. holder, Ma. <laughs> Thanks. So now um, we can just go ahead and push it back down. Oh, come on. All right. I know. <laughs> so I, oh, I can do this? Oh, oh yeah. Now between all of my steps, you'll see that I'll just grab a little bit more water. You don't want the clay to be feel like sandpaper against your hand. So gotcha. water helps in that. Okay. So to push it back down, I'll take both of my hands. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, well, no, no, can we get that on camera? Thank you, can we get that on camera? Get hers, get hers. Thank you, thank you. Okay, no, 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 you did that to yourself. <laughs> and now <laughs> we're going to push it back down. You don't want to put a hole in it yet. Dang it! <laughs> All right, fine, pushing it back down. He has a cup! <laughs> I've got it, I was making a cup. That was the Follow goal, right? Follow scales for the rest of this uh, demo. We're <laughs> no, that, that, he did create You did do it. <laughs> okay, but I'm pushing it back down. Yeah, we're going to push it back down using the palms of our hands right here. Okay. Yep. Eat your heart out, Patrick Swayze. Oh, no, I'm getting, I'm getting side cattywampus. That's, yep. There you go. Keep pushing it down. Push it down a little bit prior there. I just I feel like the world's worst baker. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now that it's back, I call this the neutral position of pottery. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's okay. Go on. <laughs> We're going to go on to the step of centering, okay. which is kind of the most difficult part okay. of pottery. All and right. not the most glamorous part, because the more time you spend and get this part correct, the easier the creating of the cup will be. Okay. So. You want it in the exact center because we're on a wheel. That's okay. why we call this step centering. And I'm going to take my left hand okay. and put it on the side of my pot. Okay. I'm going to take my right hand in a karate chopping kind of fashion. Okay. And I'm going to work together. You're using a lot more force. Why are you Speed? holding your thumb? What is, <laughs> th what is that move? <laughs> It just helps what is that me crouching whenever... tiger hidden clay move? What is that? <laughs> so, I'm gonna get a little too engineering. Oh <laughs> yeah, Tell, talk to the expert. Okay. <laughs> so at this point, the clay is moving in a one in a circle, obviously. Kay. It's on a wheel. 
So technically, anytime we're working with pottery, we're only focusing on one portion of the clay. Because, okay. like you said, if I touch this point, my clay hits it. Right. Because it's in, going in a circle. Right. So I'm kind of creating a point around 7 o'clock okay. where I'm telling the clay. That's two, that's two hours and a happy hour. Okay. <laughs> to go up and down. And if I kind of have my hands locked together, okay. it'll force it. Into, into place, and so it's in the center of the wheel. So what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be like a CNC router. So you're gonna say, hold your hands in there on okay. this side, and then the clay is gonna force itself right in between the two forms of it. So put this hand on top here, Okay. and then go around there. Try to stay away from you. <laughs> I didn't breathe. <laughs> there you go. And just keep your hands in, kind of get your elbow locked into your mm -hmm. inner of your leg so okay. it stays nice and still. It's working. Yep. Just keep your hands as still as you can, your whole body, so that way the clay has to respond to you. What do you want me to do? I'm doing something over here. What am I doing? Go to commercial. Okay. I'm going to go. Good God. Right, we'll be right. What camera am I in? We'll be right back when we're Jim City tonight. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> All right, welcome back to Gym City tonight. We're doing pottery with Sarah and Tabitha. I know it looks like I did this. I didn't. <laughs> the beauty of TV magic, I had Sarah jump over here and help me because we were gonna be here till St. Swithin's Day. <laughs> so, all right, so you did, you jumped the thing, we made it flat, we've made walls. Yep. We mm -hmm. skipped a couple steps because, you know. We opened it up. I yeah. was not, I'm, yep. I'm an actor. I gotta do mine real quick. So okay. I centered it, I'm now, what's called opening it. So this will give me the opportunity cool. to have walls. All so right. While you do, while you do all so yeah. made Creative Arts Studio. Yeah. How long have you been open or working? Uh, so we are just now opening. Okay. <laughs> so no, we had um, our sister studio, Decoy Art Center, is where we all met in Beaver mm -hmm. Creek. And we had that studio for nine years. So um, we are kind of transitioning our clay lab over to Made, which is part of the Front Street building. So mm -hmm. if you're familiar with like all the artisans and artists down there, that's where our new home is. Cool. Um, so this December is our first workshops we're holding there. So those are all listed on our website. So you can come and join us like this. Sweet. Yeah. Fun stuff. So what's next? All right, are you ready to pull up your walls? That's what you, I've been doing it since my first marriage. <laughs> I thought that was a good joke. All right, everyone, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Who's been playing Unchained Melody this entire time? So what these are the three steps. Not everyone uses this terminology, but Kay. I like to call this launch pad. So Kay. I'm gonna take my finger and Kay. push into the bottom Kay. of my piece. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you can use more force. There you go. So now you have clay to pull up. Okay. I'm going to wet my piece. I generally wet my piece. Yeah, yeah. Shut the jet what? All right. And then I'm going to, I use a sponge. I'll use a sponge. I have a lot of tools down here. I have no idea what yeah, they're for. Yeah, no, we'll get to them. We'll get to them. I feel like I'm harpooning over here. Okay. I use it as an extension of my fingers. You don't okay. have to, but let's, for this sake, let's just. I do that with a martini glass. Keep going. <laughs> okay. And what I'm generally doing is pushing both of my fingers in between the clay together. So they'll be t touching, but with clay in between them. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to be pulling up. But it's you're not actually grabbing it and pulling it. You're really just putting pressure together mm -hmm. so that the clay rises. There you go. That's great. Yeah, nice and slow. Oh no, no. I can. Oh, you so, can feel it too when it gets like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some the biggest there coffee mug ever. All right. So yeah, you want to pull the whole way up your cylinder. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ted, get in here. There you go. And once you reach the top, almost there. Oh, Son of a... Thank you for letting me look up. I had a bowl. That's I okay. had cinnamon toast crunch ready to roll here. You still have clay. You still have clay on your wheel. So yeah. we'll just put that to the side. You can throw it up there on the top. And that table part, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't reuse this. Well, okay. So, I've, I've, fun fact. <laughs> I've ruined the integrity of the clay. Or Pretty something? much, the clay yeah. can be recycled, but when it has so much moisture in it right now, it's kind of weak, and it's not going to do what you want it to do. Got so it. So, working with the base clay that you have down there is going to be the best clay to work with. Great. Remake my bowl here. Here, why? Be not? careful. Watch your. Yep, there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so say you went through all those steps. Now we have what's called a cylinder. We could make this into a mug, a cup. I could also make this into a bowl by just starting to cool the clay out. And then I'm going to join you and make a plate. So now I have some, a bowl for my cereal. I went from making a bowl to a shot glass. This mm -hmm. is fantastic. That's I'm good gonna for this year. <laughs> I can well, use the holidays my needle are... tool to just take that top off just like you did. And we're going to go through that step again real quick. Yeah, you, see, you don't even need instruction. You're already doing it. And we're just going <laughs> to... I'm just making this up as I go along. Yeah, that's perfect. This is the fun of pottery, though. You never, mm -hmm. whenever you start a project, you don't always know what's going to come out of it. Yeah, see, we call ourselves. Welcome to Gem City tonight, <laughs> my dear. Welcome. <laughs> We're professional failures. Like pottery, you can't get attached to it till it's finished and done in your hands because so many things go wrong at any point in time. So, yep, don't get attached. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, no, I'm getting there. Ah. I'll make a tiny pot as well. You got a little dipping bowl. But whenever you feel like you're ready, we'll go over the steps of taking I was going for like an wheel. Asian, oh look, I made like a little teapot. Yeah. Well, do you want to go, we can use some of the other tools that you have in front of you. To sure. Maybe. Yeah. Make it pretty. I don't know what that means. 15. 15, perfect. All right, let's wrap it up. Okay, so show me the tools real quick. All right. Give we'll me something sharp. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can just take it off. If, if you if you're happy with your piece right there, you should be. Then we'll, we can use the wire tool right okay. there by your water bucket. Okay. Not that one. Oh, there's another it's, one. There's it's kind of hidden over there. Okay. Right where you it is. Oh, yeah. the, oh, good. That's, oh, okay, hitman. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're gonna <laughs> go for you. it. <laughs> it's all you. Okay, so hold it like you're gonna floss your teeth. So kind of like hold it nice and tight in between your thumbs and just large enough, yeah, and just long enough for your piece. And you're going to go from over here and slide it towards you. So you have to keep it really, yeah, you, you go. got it, exactly. And just swipe it towards yourself. There you go. And that's when we take the piece off, let it dry out, and we'll put it into the kiln. It'll get fired, then glazed, then fired again, and then it'll be food safe to use. Sweet. You're going to drink this every day on your, at your desk, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's where it's going to go. So, all right, how do we find you guys as you... Yeah, yes, so you can media. find us at uh, Made Ceramic Art on Facebook and Instagram and MadeCeramicArt.com and has all of our info there. Sweet. Hey. All right, I want to thank Sarah and Tabitha. Uh, we'll be right back with more Gem City tonight.
All right, Dayton, remember you're not alone. And you never will be. Have a good night. <laughs>